Welcome to Anton's TV. My name's Jack and we're here with Luke from Cork. Luke from Cork and we're in yeah. Keyboard Corner. It's written in the corner and uh, <laughs> we're having a nice day. We're on to our second video of the day and what have we got? We have got the Vox Continental. Oh, and it looks yeah. cool. It looks I hope you think it looks cool. I think it's great. It's wicked. So yeah, two versions of this. This is the 73 note one. There's also a 61 note. They're both exactly the same, just different size keyboards. Mm. And it's fantastic waterfall keyboard on there yeah which is ideal obviously for yeah for that sort of action yeah oh, <laughs> we'll do a bit of that in a bit yeah. yeah and um the idea of it is obviously it's based on our original vox continental from 1962 mm. but i i don't really call it a reissue it's more of a, a reimagining of mm. the original um because we've taken that great vox sound from then but then we've added in other sounds which the modern keyboard player would benefit from so obviously some great pianos some great eps other great keyboard players like clavs and organs and all yeah. sorts of different stuff. Yeah, and we've got new tube built in. So this is our new um, tube technology, which is basically uh, a I've full... missed it. I've missed it. You missed it. I've missed it. Yeah, back in the old Tritons when they, you know, it's, oh, it's got a tube in it. That's yeah, yeah, it's cool. And the King Cork has a has a, yes, yeah. a tube in it. But this one is a brand new reimagining, really, of the tube concept because. Um, we've developed it in conjunction with Vox. Um, Korg have developed it, and it's a, a tiny, tiny ceramic valve. Okay, we're, we're back. We went. Uh, we had a lovely Danish person come in and explain that we've actually got <laughs> a bit of physical technology, and you can then carry on and tell me what on earth the new tube is. So this is a new tube. So this is um, a ceramic valve, which has the uh, same properties as a, as a real valve, if you like, but it's in a tiny little case, and it's completely stable and very... Uh, versatile yeah. and robust, but you still get that amazing kind of drive. So is that and Korg? Warmth. Have yeah, Korg have invented and this. I, I think we've got a video coming out, or it's yeah, the, it's, it's also there. in the Vox MV50, I believe, the guitar amp, which I think Anderson's done a video on. So yeah, um, but yeah, when you when you hear it, you'll understand. Can you whack that on all the sounds? You can, yeah. Wicked. We'll get we'll get there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So there we oh, go. lovely. Thanks, mate. Cheers. <laughs> the key to the mainframe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, just a little bit about that, because it's called the Vox Continental Organ, yeah. and I know it as um, you know being there on loads of keyboards over the years. Uh, was it hard to model, or, or was the original was was it technology like this? Yeah, it was. There? It was all analog tra sort of transistors and stuff inside, so it was a challenge to try and replicate that. Yeah, because I've, I've heard it kicking out. Like. Through, yeah, yeah, it's, it's got so some it's, bite. If people don't know that sound, it's this kind of sound. kind of like quite nasal thin organ sound but that was developed really to combat the whole Hammond thing which obviously is an amazing sound yeah but often it was quite difficult to fit that into the mix because it just take up, takes up so many frequencies so this would came out at the same time but also it was a much lighter unit so it's much more portable easier to gig and one so of the coolest really looking keyboards of all time yeah, and definitely. you've really kept that going I mean it really the livery kind of, on this keyboard yeah. Yeah. And it's a great one. It's a British spirit here with a bulldog for all the people that voted Brexit. No, <laughs> but it's great. And again, it comes with a stand. And a different stand. Yes, uh, from the grand We've stage. got another video yeah. out. We're doing all the kind of latest core products today, keyboard products. And uh, yeah, it's cool as hell. It's yeah. slightly different, just made for this one. Yeah, yeah perfect for this. Um, and yeah, so that comes free. You also get... Um, the expression pedal with it as well, Vox expression pedal, which is great for obviously nice. um, doing expression, but also oh, while, I wish more people like did that. that yeah. Makes sense. yeah, it does totally. So it's a bit like with those new TC pedals, I'm always trying to bring the, the guitar players in, yeah, you know, course, in case yeah. you've stumbled across us by accident. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so sorry, but um, yeah, like, yeah, to, on the, those new uh, TC pedals. It's great because no one ever plugs or bothers to plug the expressions in, so it's great you get it off the bat. It is nice, sturdy yeah. on kit as yeah, well. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice. Get that action. Just come on. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm like, no, wicked. We'll go. So, yeah. So talking of kind of guitarists, the, the, the idea of this is it's laid out very simply. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> so you can kind of just go into the section you want, turn it on, city level, and off you go. Let's do it then. Yeah. So uh, you've got scenes as well, which is great. So you can bring your favorite sounds in. So, so if we wanted an organ, for example, we can just go into the organ section. Mm -hmm. We can choose what type, so we've got Vox, but we've also got Compact, which is like kind of Farfisa sort of sound, and also CX3, which is Korg's 
um, analog kind of organ and a great from the one 80s. As well. Absolutely. Yeah, I love yeah. it. Because you've got this nice oh, yeah. keyboard, you can really do the, the sandos and the slides really easily. And, and not embarrassingly, yeah. Uh, yeah, no, like cut yourself. Cut yourself, yeah. yeah. Which yeah. is not great. And a great example of that sound, um, Larry Goldins. Uh, he's a great organ player. Absolutely. James Taylor, one man band. You can hear, that's all a cork on that. I think you'd nail, um, you've got a great Hammond. Yeah, it's a great um, Hammond emulation, yeah. yeah. And also, you've got the rotary switch here. Which is oh, kind of like it. a like a pitch of, bend. Like, yeah, I, was yeah. a bit, I did have a little. It can, bit of... it can be a pitch bend, but when you're in organ, it'll change the rotary speed. Oh, wicked! And then I can slow it down again. That's nice. And you get a visual representation of the rotary speed here as well. And you can be a bit sneaky with that. Where sometimes you can, yeah, yeah. when, when yeah. I on when it's got the button, I watch back like videos, and I'm just saying, mm, 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 it looks yeah, yeah, yeah. But this is yeah, it feels good to use. Plus you've got your draw bars on here, so this is a new kind of concept for us, having digital draw bars. Yeah. Uh, but it's not like some other ones where you've got buttons underneath. This is literally a control Holy surface where you do this. <laughs> so you can you can just draw in your shapes as well. I love that I don't, this is why I don't read up about the keyboards yeah, really before yeah. I come in. Everyone's like, who's that idiot who knows nothing? Because I want to be excited by it. Absolutely. That's exciting. It is cool. Yeah, it is cool. And it's really responsive as well. Go on, means, have... What? Yeah. Plus you can do multiple, yeah. Oh. At once you can stroke it. Salad like fingers. That. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> I love Russ. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've got quite a nice setting you made there. <laughs> Obviously, you've, got, the fingers, you've man. got effects as well, so you can right. Turn let's on. let's stay yeah. there in organ world. Like, yeah, yeah. So we got uh, the we're on the top one. CX3, yeah, so all the stops out. Pulling all the stops out. Oh my! Nice. There's, there's leakage in there. Yeah. Let's go. Kill. So ah. we've got a flanger on the moment. So let's put some overdrive on. Okay. And is that using This that? will drive this, yes. Right. Yeah, and the light. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and, and the light gets brighter depending on how much you drive it as well, which is a nice kind <laughs> I of love, visual. I love, I'm picking up on all the most inconsequential things. Oh, the light, the sticker, yeah. the touch. <laughs> oh, the logo lights up as well, if you're interested. I'm sorry, in but I yeah. love that stuff. Yeah. It gets me excited, it makes me want to play it. Absolutely, it inspires Instead of like playing some crappy thing that's like a calculator from... It's part of the overall experience, definitely. Scientific yeah. calculator, like most things. <laughs> like a bad exam. Yeah. So that's it, um, so CX3, uh, let's listen to that, the, the box, let's just go through yeah. one. And what's nice is that you've got um, variations of presets, so if you're not okay. sure what the, how to get to no, the, the same want. on the Farfisa when the draw bars split. I don't even seen it. I'm yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I don't really know what's going it's on. The same thing here. So in Farfisa mode, yeah, they're exactly. just tabs. Yeah, so you can't. Right, okay. You, you can turn them all off, so you won't get any sound. And then you just bring, bring in the ones you want. Yeah. So that's the far, the fast. Yeah. Let's take the overdrive. So cool if you're in a, looking for something a bit different yeah, as well. Yeah. And again, that's got an iconic sound of its own, as has the Vox. But you've got these variations, variations yeah. So they're basically snapshots of how these stops are. Okay. Vibrato as well. And so good in low light. If anyone's there talking about the Hammond thing in real draw bars, yeah. it's so nice having the lights to it see is. where you are. Especially, Especially when you're on stage. And presets. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because I've got one with uh, physical draw bars and uh, if I change a preset, I don't know where I am. Exactly. Yeah. Whereas here, as you flick through, as you'll see, if that makes sense, do you know what I mean, like if the if it's physical and they're out, and you flick, it's all well and good if you're on a church gig or a blues gig and you're doing the whole thing manually. Yeah, but if yeah. you've got a nail of sound, it's hard to know where you are. And that's, that's right. It's and it's just, you can flick through them, and honestly, that changes. And you know instantly what you. What oh, and you've got to. the vibrato and chorus settings yeah. there, percussion. Percussion, yeah. So uh, on CX3, I think you turn it on. So you get that clicky kind of effect. And that's the chorus yeah. on there. And then the rotary, yeah, on and off. So and you can have that no rotary there. sound, Brian Auger. And it brings it down. 
Yeah, okay. man. So that's the organ section. Cool. Then you've got um, EP, electric piano, piano, and a keyboard section as well, which you can then bring in. So it's not just an organ. It's just a great gig and keyboard. Let's do it. Let's listen to them then. Yeah. So if we, the easiest way is just to use these buttons so you can mm -hmm. go through different sections. So electric piano. And then again, different variations. Just a little dab of reverb. So some of them have got effects on them, like phase. Or All the... The main food groups, is Tyne, Reed, FM. Yeah. yeah, so yeah, um, Rhodes basically, Whirlies. Yeah. And then variations within each. Fantastic. FM, of course. <laughs> and what's really nice is then yeah. you can start layering up sounds, so you've got that nice kind That's of what I was thinking. DX7 type sound. That's how Luke rolls, he just goes, yeah, he's just out. <laughs> Two fingers. <laughs> Slim it is as well. It's like, but the seventy, how is the seventy? Seventy three. Seventy three. Yeah. That's yeah. wicked. It is nice, and it's not. Although it's a waterfall keyboard, it's not too light. So when you are playing your keyboard, it kind of sounds like that. No, and they're fully squared nice, off keys. Yeah, they're not they like are. weird little um, yeah, so dumpy ones. No, no injuries. Can we have happening. a? <laughs> 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 <I'm not. laughs> so bad. I sound like such a regnet. Brexit, <laughs> stubby. Yeah. Right, I love it. Can, can I have a listen to the, because it's got the pianos, pianos in there. Pianos, yeah, so let's go and just touch piano and then you're yeah. in. And again, you've got difference. So good, because that yeah. 73 is nice. You can... It just gives you enough keys to do proper piano stuff. Yeah, yeah exactly. if you're not doing an accompaniment. If you're a singer-songwriter, you want something light to go out with. So, yeah. Uh, the, it, it makes a statement as well when you're on stage instead of just like a black, like exactly, the, the yeah. usual fare. You know, turn up to the low, low open mic with this. It's like, what? Yeah, what is that? Yeah, uh, uprights as well, like we saw on the grand stage. Got oh, those nice cover. Yeah, legit. And what, CPAC? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, with a bit of chorus on that. Yeah, yeah, go for it. Let me see how easy it is to dial in your effects, which is Yeah, because really nice. I love that modular stomp box thing, just turn it on. Yeah! My man. Not quite got the bottom end of a grand. <laughs> 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 it's funky though, yeah. If you want to check out good examples of CPA, I love that D'Angelo all the time. All that stuff is fantastic. And Prince, yeah. yeah. Killing, good. Yeah. It's like a sound in its own right, isn't it? Which is great. Yeah. So then you've got your other section, your keys, which is basically everything else. So, um, like the keyboard section will be like clavs. Plus, with the wire pedal, if you select a wire effect, Obviously, then it will go to wah. And that's how it should be done. Yeah. And you get that out of the, out of the gate. Yeah. yeah. And that's then, so good that yeah, you this, get that. It's nice. That's, worth, that's a lot of dollar. Like it's normally, great, absolutely. To get a good one. Plus, if you then select a different effect, and you go into a different sound, I don't know, like um, just a layer again. Yeah. 
it will then become automatically just an expression pedal without you having to reconfigure it. Mm. It's just nice for the end of like transitions and Absolutely, stuff. Absolutely, yeah. Gorgeous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So another thing I want to tell you about yeah, is yeah. this as well. So we saw it obviously as an organ, but if you use it, say for a pad or something like that, you can actually use these other things on there. So it becomes like synth controls. That's so cool. So, so. You can do the cut off. So let's go and, yeah, go for it. Oh, like cut off. You can like even just wobble in there. Wobble in there. I mean, it's so sensitive, it's getting like... Uh, Between the little grooves. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Like... <laughs> 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 I just realised we were having a moment there, mate. <laughs> Woo! Oh, ah, yeah. yes! And also the envelope, so... Soften up the attack, or which is more when you're putting a pad behind a piano. Yeah. If I can soften that Sometimes attack on Sometimes you need this. to tweak it slightly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And yeah, a bit more release. Yeah, a bit more release. Oh, what? And then what? Oh my god, I'm getting excited. So how how would I get that this section on with what that? What you do? You, you press here. Oh, you so hit that. That's it. Together. Cool. So now we should have a piano. Lovely, yeah, because I'm, I'm always doing that, knocking off the... the yeah. <laughs> I'm always knocking off. <laughs> always knocking one off. Always knocking one off, mate. Terrible. Yeah. It's great. Yeah, it's Who just... Who would have thought it? Yeah, absolutely. Plus you've got delay and reverb effects as well. You can just, again, turn them off, turn them on and off, dial them in, the, the depth you need. And so everything's just there. No menus, as you can see, at all. No. You're just literally hands-on with everything. You've got the dynamics control as well, which we have on the, the grand stage. So. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! I think it's probably one that we used in anger. Yeah, you can hear it, yeah. Yeah, it's doing it. Yeah, it's doing it. <laughs> it's a subtle thing. It is subtle, so, yeah. but yeah, it just enables you to... Your idea of using it in solo was really good. Like, if you're... I always find when I do keyboard, that's why I always play pitch bend and organ, because I know it cuts in a band. And when yeah, you do yeah. a piano solo, it's, you end up, like, it's sore at the end, like, and that can basically make sure that every note comes out a more consistent... It's, it's, it's like almost like compressing without, it. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. But without the change to the tone. Exactly, yeah. So if I do the same thing here... Because a compressed piano gets a bit... It makes it a, bit, a lot different. Yeah. Especially if it's a dynamic sound, then you get a different kind and of. And here on like on. a lead on a lead tone. Um, um, oh, this is a very I'm, 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 This is my. Yeah. Does that do with yes, you? Yes. Yeah. Right. I love that. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and can you whack drive on that? Yeah, you can put, let's put a bit of delay and reverb on it. Which yeah, nice. and a bit, and, just, and crank that valvage. <laughs> yeah, screw playing with the dynamics, just get that sound up <laughs> yeah. and rip that over. <laughs> of a brown eyed girl and everyone's going to be on watching. That's going to be, yeah, cutting through big time. And yeah. on the back, we're all kitted out. We've got a, a speed for uh, ro rotary speed. Yeah, so three pedals. We've got the damper and the expression pedal Yarp. going on. Road speed you can add as well. Li line out and balanced that's, out. Yeah. That's cool. So you could probably run that to an amp. Like yeah, if, from monitor. Yeah, if you wanted to go yeah. legit or put that with a guitar amp, because those sounds, you know, they go really well with they it. They would, yeah, they would. Plus you obviously got MIDI then as well and the USB two types, so one for backing up data, one for connecting to a computer. So it's got it all. Absolutely great. Yeah. And uh, are these out, these are out now, yeah? They're out now, yes. And we've got them in the store. Anderton's 
uh, I'm trying to put it across in the videos. It's such a rare place to go, especially in England, where you have all the keyboards out from all the manufacturers. They're plugged in, ready to play. So come and uh, try it out. I'm going to leave. Um, I'm going to leave you to play us out. I think. Yeah, let's have a bit of organ, shall just we? Just play yeah. some jams. So thanks, man. Appreciate. It. My man. No worries. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, thanks for watching the Anderton's YouTube keyboard channel. If you play guitar or bass or you're a drummer or you're into music technology, you might find one of our other YouTube channels interesting and I'll put links to those in the description below. So if you'd like more information on the products we featured in this video, please click up here. If you'd like to watch another video from the Anderton's keyboard channel, please click here. If you'd like to buy a t-shirt like the one I'm wearing, please click down here. And if you'd like to subscribe to our keyboard channel, please click down here. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.